If you are new to crypto but you feel lost, don't worry, you are not alone. Many beginners struggle to be profitable and even lose money on the way. But what if there is a way to turn that around? In today's video, I will show you a backtesting tool that can really help you as a new or experienced crypto investor. This tool allows you to backtest different cryptocurrencies and shows you the best settings you can use so you can become profitable even when the market drops 20, 30, 40, and even 80%. So it will give you the confidence that your plan is going to 100% work on your way. I'll be chatting with one of my CPA clients who has been using this tool for quite some time and he's able to make insane profits. With that being said, let's get started. And I think that's yeah. where you have to focus on is not necessarily make your bots non-directional related. Yeah. Like this one. So performing yeah. well. So performing well, this one SSP. So would you say if I was thinking, should I invest another five thousand USDT in this one? Maybe when the market goes down. So it went down. So it used to be in here, forty-five dollars, ninety. Then it's gone down slowly today. It's now at 23. The lowest it was was 22 something, 30 or something. So let's say if the bot comes down here, would it be a good idea to invest another more money? So again, when it starts rising, again, I'll make some money. Cause it looks like this is performing well. So what's your thought of going, putting more money in this bot? It is performing really well, right? Although the market has been slightly going up on this one, there also has been some sideways. So it's a good indication that it's performing well. I could just let it run for, for longer. Okay. I, I couldn't add more okay. funds for it uh, on it now. Do you have any coins that you think I should test? I've got these two, SSP and ZVCN. Is there anything else you think is a good coin to test mm -hmm. in TradingView? There is one that is called ABT. A B T USDT. Yeah. ABT yeah. USDT. I think that one is worth testing. I have been paying attention and it gives you taking into consideration the worst case scenario. It it is still up like sixty percent. Wow. So it's it's uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's in BitGet, right? ABT. Yeah. It's in bit good. Plus the foundation is is good. It's not like a meme coin or some random yeah. getting get out. But okay. yeah, Mark. Again, I think the progress you are making is solid. Um, yeah. To be honest, I think the biggest thing that could be holding you back right now is is the distractions. So like maybe yeah. getting into DCA or or changing your strategy. Yeah. Because your bots are performing and your account is growing yeah. slowly, yeah. but it's growing, right? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, okay. So this one was the ABT ABT one you were talking about, right? Yep. Okay. And if this one, when you do back testing, right? Uh, I just wanted to check something. Here's the grid range, right? So normally, yep. would you be putting the grid range to from the you know like the highest change that's happened, or do you do the grid testing from here to whatever the lowest has gone? That's how you, like for me here, I think this is the screen. It's showing 39 or 40%, let's say, from the mm -hmm. market. Would that the way you would do it? Is that the strategy you do? Yeah, I mean, when you're back testing, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm back testing, like I'm trying to figure out what's the range I should have. So what I do is from the market price, I go down to as much as it's fallen it's fallen up to here. Okay. So if I take the longest dip that it's had here, it's 40%, right? Mm. Now yeah. I would click on it, do the coordinates, um, you know, and just put it in, put it in the grid tester and, and do it. Is that the right way or is there another way you would be doing it like when you're identifying the grid range so when you identify the grid range you have to measure the volatility of the cryptocurrency and like the overall 
price action as well percentage how much is moving yeah so hold on but uh you have to define a start date when do you want to backtest so for this one i would say i put two months but i can't oh, change it one sec so i will let's say i do a month uh, today is what september so if i do 28th sure. of august it's showing 20 yeah it's a very good one this one yeah ABT. That's good. So, yeah, yeah. don't overcomplicate it. Yeah, that's how you backtest yeah. it. Um, yeah. Of course, something that I like, you have to define the grid range. Once you define yeah. that, it's just a matter of a, playing around with the grid levels. You can increase it and see which keep is, gives you the best. Yeah, yeah, because every time I try and do this backtesting, you know, um, now when I come here, to launch the bot, let's say I was launching it uh, mm -hmm. in real life, would I just go then follow the, the price will be almost similar, keep few lines, and then I would go and check the coordinates to see what was the low price. Yeah, yeah. And then just copy it, put it in the manual adjustment as the low price, and it should automatically. Well, not quite because big level should be 50 yes that's one of those things first but also the second yeah. thing is you want to use the same percentage you are getting from the same grid range percentage you are using in the back testing so you're using 40 percent so you want to measure from the top i'm using 50 percent but go back to bits cup here let me just show you because i don't know how to explain it right yeah. now so what you want to do is if you got a 40% grid range, right? And yeah. that's the one that is giving you the best results. You yes. want to measure a 40% from here to here. I see what you're saying. Yeah, which is pretty much the same that, that you have right now. Yeah. And then, right, you want to have this slightly up so you can have yeah. two lines and then 50 yeah. grid levels. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Correct. This is giving me 30. 25%. Yeah, that's how you want to do it. Okay. All right. I might have to transfer a few more thousand dollars and do this because I don't have any more money left to <laughs> launch a bot. Yes. That's yeah. one of the issues you're going to be run. Uh, you're going to be running out. Like right now, the only issue that I'm running into is uh, every bot that I have is profitable, right? The, the issue I'm running into is which one is more profitable. <laughs> that's one of the issues yeah. you're going to be running into. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. a good issue to have. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. Cool. cool. Thanks. Thanks, Emilio. All right, Chat Mark. Soon. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll Thanks. send you the video and also yeah. a quick summary of the steps you have to take, right? And yeah, um, right. then you can take action on the worst that. Thank you. Thanks. All right, take care. Emilio. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. So if you made it this far, it means you are serious about making money with crypto. If that's the case and you want to make a steady 8 to 16% a month with predictability and using systems that are proven to work in any market condition, then make sure to apply for CVA. All you have to do is click on the first link in the description, book a call with me or anybody of my team, and we will see how we can help you. With that being said, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.